What better way to start off the afternoon than with some football, huh? It's time to get things started here on the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks for joining us, football fans. I'm Kate Scott, joined in the booth by my partner, Brock Hewitt. And this week, Brock, got one group coming in off a win. Another off that well-earned buy. Should make for a really energetic game. I'm wondering if you think one has the advantage of the game. Well, I'd like to know how every single body feels down there. <laughs> Blake Groupie out and ready to send this away. And we're underway in Caesar Superdome. His return starts at the five. His return reaches that 34-yard line before he stopped. So the commander's offense headed out for their opening drive. And leading them out, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. As you take the field coming off of a real late season bye, you just want to maximize what last week was all about. Making sure that physically, mentally, emotionally, you're recharged so you can go attack the final stretch of this season. First play, they go quick out to the left, complete. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. Alante Taylor making the stop. Well, this late in the year, Brock, just about every team in the league, as we all know, is battling some injury woes, and these guys are no exception. It's an unfortunate byproduct of any sport, but especially the trauma involved in this sport. You're going to lose guys over the course of the season, and the later in the season you're dealing with injuries, the more the depth of your roster is so tested. And now it's time for those lesser-known names to make their name. Daniels throwing on third. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that'll be good for a Washington first. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. First and 10 now. Here's Daniels. Has a man, it's Ertz. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Third and four coming up now. the gun Daniels that one is incomplete couldn't hang on through the contact he may have taken away that quick slant look easy there Brock even in zone coverage yeah it is not an easy route to stop and you have to have tremendous eyes I talked to you Kate and everybody about anticipation as a quarterback mm -hmm. it's the same thing for a cornerback in zone he anticipated that route it was Johnny on the spot a lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all his concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Now Gonzalez on to kick this one away. On the return, here's Mims. His return makes it up to the 25. So now we'll get a look at the other offense as the Saints take the field. They're brought out by the fifth-round rookie out of South Carolina, Spencer Rattler. You know, Kate, sometimes they say great quarterbacks are like great point guards. And much like we measure point guards in basketball with the assist-to-turnover ratio, and you love a three-to-one assist-to-turnover ratio that will win you ball games. same with quarterbacking. Three touchdowns, one pick, and a big old win last week. He swarms in the middle. This gets maybe a yard. Play made by Deron Payne. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Looking to throw, Rattler. That's caught by Marquez valdez Scantley, And that's good for a gain of five. Play made by Deron Payne. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Now Rattler. Camara's got it. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42.
Throwing with a blitz on the way. That's into the hands of Moreau. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. And they've got themselves another first and 10. Rattler back to throw. Has him on the quick hitter. And he works this to the 38 before going down. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Second and three. Completed over the middle. And he stopped at the 31 yard line. That's good for seven yards. And the Saints are going to have a first down. Throwing it again here. Able to get it to Moreau. And he'll get it down to the 24 yard line. Second and three now. Running left, this is Kamara. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, Largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. And again, they stalled him out at the line. He couldn't get it. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say, there's just times you got to run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. On fourth down, out comes the Saints field goal team and Blake Groupie. It's on the right hash for this 39-yarder. Nickatomney's kick is good. And we're all tied up now in the first half. That's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team is out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. Return coming from the six. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. The commanders and QB Jaden Daniels headed out for their next look on offense. And he's been more than just his work as a passer this season. Look at this. He's gotten the job done on the ground as well. Second among NFL quarterbacks in rushing yards. On first down, here's Daniels. Has a man. It's Brown. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. From the gun, it's Daniels. He'll get this one to Brown. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Daniels on first down. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Had that one, but just couldn't see it through. So that brings up second down. Robinson on the inside give. And his drive up the middle gets him about three. And play wrapped up by Demario Davis. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Shotgun snap to Daniels. Got his target, it's Zacchaeus. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. 12 yards on that play and a good call, and that's him the first. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. First and 10, a run to Robinson. And that carry only nets one on the plunge up the gut. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, 
Those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Now Daniels off to play action. Just got it away before the hit button. It doesn't matter. It's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. No return on this one. It's going to make it out of bounds and across the 25, spotted at the 24. And there's only one team satisfied with their spot in the playoffs right now, and that's the one currently at the top. A lot of time left for everybody else to jostle for better position or simply for one of the seven spots available. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Wilson's got it. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 32. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Rattler to the air now. Connects with Johnson. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. First down, ball of the 36. They are throwing it again. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. Every tight end worth his salt wanted this. Really craved man-to-man -man coverage. The best of them, give me man-to-man -man coverage, and I'm going to beat you. I was around Dallas Clark and Indy, one of the best. You play man-to-man, -man, he's going to find a way to out-leverage you, separate from you, and make a play just as that tight end did. Rattler setting to throw. That's complete to Wilson. And he'll go out of bounds close to the 35-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. At the end of one, a field goal for each side, but no one has found the end zone just yet. Both teams neck and neck so far. Back to the Superdome of Caesar in just a bit. We're back for the second quarter. Saints in possession of the football. They're advancing it well as they face second down. This finds Moreau. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Kamara now on first and ten. And they had that one contained right at the line. And Kiluvu there for the tackle. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Brought in right side. Well, that's a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on the throw, that's a go-to route to target. And for the Commanders, a fifth defensive back out there. They're going nickel on third down. Throwing now from the gun. This is reeled in by Camara. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good to get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. Starting from the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Commanders are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And he 
you always got to watch him when you're down near the red zone. He is sitting second right now among all NFL quarterbacks in rushing touchdowns. Daniels from the pistol. We'll get it complete to Brian Robinson Jr. Kate, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. When one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brian, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. A handoff for Robinson, running right. And they'll bundle this up after a four-yard gain. That play wrapped up by Demario Davis. Second and six coming up here. Out of the gun, Daniels. It is caught left side. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. All plays on the table here for third and three. Shotgun snap again to Robinson. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. The commander is ready for the punt. And this will be his second effort of the contest. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it, that one. Headed for the sideline. So this one will go out of bounds, and they'll start the drive inside their own 30. The New Orleans offense set to go now. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal, despite advancing the football pretty well. They motion a receiver left. Look at this. The wideout gets it to start this drive. He gets forward, and that's about four yards. It was Mike Sanders still on that stop. Second and six coming up here. Running behind center with Camara. He's descended upon quickly and dropped after it looks like a yard gain. Jeremy Chin there on the stop. So now here's third and five. Looking to throw, Rattler. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it, leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. He takes the fair catch at about the 26-yard line. The Commanders ready for their next series, led out on offense by their quarterback. And while they've worried about his arm a little bit early, he's been happy to get some yards on the ground, looking like an effective dual threat thus far. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. That play wrapped up by Demario Davis. Give him around six, that's gonna make it second and four. Play fake here, Daniels. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. Sent to the ground by Pete Warner. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. So they offer the shorter pass later in the progression on that play, Brock, but man, the defense took that away too. Well, what they tell us yesterday in those production meetings, nothing comes easy. No easy completions from shots down the field to those checkdowns to the running back. Wanted to make this offense earn everything. They just did. And he can't evade the coverage team for much. They stop him before he gets really anything on that return. That one, an impressive 57-yard kick. And the Saints will get set to take over. Rattler. That's complete to Valdez Scantling. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it. 
by adding all the extra yardage. Just one play into this drive, and they're already sitting on their own 45. Here's a give inside to Camaro. He's pushed straight ahead, and that's maybe a yard at most. Thank you, Luvu, there for the tackle. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's Rattler. Out to his wideout, it's a screen. And he's brought down for a loss. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. They kick the running back in motion. Third and long for him here. Complete beyond the marker. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Give him 24 on that play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. Speaks to this guy's talent is just an all-around difference maker, playmaker. We see him line up as a receiver, and we don't even bat an eye, Kate. And we don't really bat an eye when he makes that kind of play either. This guy's just different, built for the moment. A run now with Kamara. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. From the 27. This is reeled in by Valdez Scantley. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. Now Rattler. Looking to his fullback now. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. Second and three now. Throwing his rattler. And this one won't be caught, but we got a flag here. Looked like there may have been some early contact before that That's throw arrived. Defense. He got too aggressive to try and stop that play, and they tag him for pass interference. Play action on first down. The throw is caught. to rock this offense, looking sharpier in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Blake Groupie to try the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Saints make it a 10-point ball game. Here's Groupie on now to handle the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. The commander's in the hurry up. They're hustling for the line. Finds his target, Robinson. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Got a man, Robinson has it. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. Back to the line they go, it's second down. Again, Daniels to the air. He'll get this one to Brown. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. From the red zone now. It's taken in by Sinnott. 
And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. Washington calls it second time out. Shotgun snap to Daniels. This throw is caught. And he drives this forward to the six. Signals, and looks like we've got a timeout before that first down play. Back to throw. Here's Daniels. And look at the footwork there. Touchdown! The Commanders make it a one-score game before halftime. Terry McLaurin with the touchdown. And they've loved the scoring production he's brought out of their offense. That touchdown gives him 10 on the season. Zane Gonzalez on for the point after try. The point after splits the uprights. And the Commanders cut it to a field goal game. Volley set up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. And he opts not to bring this one out. So they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They bring Valdez Scantling in motion. Yep, as expected. They go to the ground to start this one off. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. So we're at halftime here in beautiful New Orleans. And it's the Saints who've got the lead as we head to the break. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. Being quick, ready to grab a refill or a bite to eat because no halftime report this week. Everyone set to get the third quarter underway. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Saints to the running back, Alvin Kamara, trotting back out to the field. And he's played a major impact in their passing game, too. Look at this. We're near the end of the season, and he's leading all NFL backs in receiving yards. They're going to start on the ground with Kamara. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Second and eight. This is reeled in by Wilson. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Motion in left is their running back. Rattler setting the throw. On target to Valdez Scantley. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. All set up now for first and 10. Rattler to the air now. That's complete to Camaro. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. Second and 15. An all-around tough play for him. He took a shot on the release, and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Now they'll throw out of the gun. It's tipped away and it's gonna hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. I think it's safe to say that without that ball being tipped, we are looking at a big game. It's a missed opportunity to push that offense, but an even better play defensively to deny the throw. And there won't be a return here. This punt is out of bounds. They'll say inside the 40. The visitors and Terry McLaurin are ready for another look on offense. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. Now Daniels off the play action. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. He can't hang on to the pass. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Now 
out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's caught behind the line for a long. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, that came at the perfect time. He's on the move. He's running for it. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. They get 13 on the pickup. And the Commanders will have a first. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for a QB to inspire the guys around him. Calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. Play fake here, Daniels. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, he's keeping it again. That's just a case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could. Here's second and seven. Able to find Ertz. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. He brings the offense up now for a first and 10. Here's Robinson, up the middle. And they'll stop him, but not until he has a nice little gain down to the 32. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. From the 32. Got Sinnott. It's complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. The give now out of the shotgun. And he'll knife his way through for a pick up a four. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, it's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. I talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet. Have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. And even 20 yards on the play, and it awards them with a first and goal. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. Here's Robinson. Is across the line for the Washington touchdown. The Commanders grab the lead on their first series of the half. They kept it on the ground as opposed to airing it out. And that time, well, Brock, the ground game paid off. Well, these great rushing attacks down here that could score rushing touchdowns, it takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. Gonzalez connects on the point after. And the Commanders take a four-point lead. Now Gonzalez on to kick this one away. Here comes Williams on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Saints and Spencer Rattler coming out for their next drive. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. Now Camara. And have him gain about a handful there. Play made by Deron Payne. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. At the 32 yard line. Looking to throw. Rattler. Connects with Johnson. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. And he'll get it up to the 44. It's a pickup of nine yards. And the 
Saints are going to have a first down. Some backs are easier to tackle than others. Some, well, they just choose violence. They look for those opportunities to bust through tackles and keep those legs pumping. Rattler back to throw. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll have a small four-yard chunk there. Thank you, Louvu, there for the tackle. Second and six coming up here. It's now second and six at their 48-yard line. Kamara gets it. And he takes it up and across midfield to Commander's territory. It's a pickup of three. They're going to need three more now on third down. That's a game of three. Putting the tight end in motion. Shotgun now on third down. He has the first over the middle. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. Camara running out of the gun. And he's brought down by a collective effort there. Only one yard on the carry. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Counter give to Camara. And hopefully a bit of a wake up for their ground game. It's a solid pick up there on the play. Here they come, this is third and five. Rattler. Complete beyond the marker. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. A 70-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. They're now set for first and 10. Throwing his Rattler. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. They'll run the toss to Camara, And he's brought down for a loss. Well, they shoot the pass to try and bring up third and short via a little more conservative ground call, but a backfire. You know, the defense, they'll look for keys up front. And they fired off the line knowing a run was coming. And boy, they busted it before it could get back to the line. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. Not out of hand yet. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Here's a give to Camara, And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, they were hoping. They were hoping to get outside and meet those guys at the second level. Well, someone from the second level came to beat him on his turf. And that meeting... Didn't go so well. Here's an important kick now for Blake Groupie. From the right hash, it's a 47-yarder. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And they cut it down to within a field goal. This is a case of, well, just get what you can on the way out the door, Kate. It's already out of reach. Just take the three, let your kicker get some points, and make it a hair closer in the box score. His return starts at the five. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. And they may say they're not paying attention, but everybody maintaining a constant eye on the current playoff picture. A lot on the line each week for the teams that think they have what it takes to make a run in the postseason. Drive begins with a run. It's Robinson. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. He made it six on the play, bringing up second and four. Daniels from the pistol. He's got Brown on the slant. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. And there wasn't much 
much he can do there. A small gain to the 43. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to third and five. Out of the gun, Daniels. That's caught for the first. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. They'll get 18 yards there. And that'll be good for a Washington first. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things. Separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks. That's the trust. And then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. And it took a couple of guys to haul him down there after a gain of just one. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. He gets this one to McLaurin. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. All plays on the table here for third and three. Shotgun snap, will give to Robinson. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Pick up a five on that play. And the Commanders will have a first. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. He did it! He made the interception! And the Saints have some new life in the fourth! Well, we all know, Brock, those slot guys start piling up receptions, and that makes them a priority target for the defense. Yep. They kept someone nearby, and they pick off that check down. Yeah, if a play breaks down in today's football, like back in my day, last century, well, you checked down the running back. That's not the case anymore. These yeah. slot receivers, well, they're as big a security blanket as running backs are, but the defenses, to your point, Kate, they figured it out, too. And that defense, well, they didn't just figure it out in their head. They went out and executed with their bodies to take it away. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Throwing with a blitz on the way. Short pass brought in. And this one gets up to the 14-yard line before he stops. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Here's Rattler. Able to get it to Moreau. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, then go to work after him. Now Rattler. To the left side and reeled in by Wilson. And he's short of the first after a mild gain. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. At the 34 yard line. Now a run with Camara. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Battle coming up on third and inches. Another run for Camara. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. Rattler to the air now. Wilson's got it. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Running behind center with Camara. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. This one goes for three yards. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. First down. First at the 46-yard line. They stay on the ground with Camara. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small gain. Only gets a yard there. 
there to make it second and nine. Rattler setting the throw. That's complete to Valdez Scantling. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37 yard line. Third down, one yard to go. Running for the marker with Williams. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up fourth down and one. Here's an important kick now for Blake Groupie. Ball spotted on that right hash, 53 yards out. Got all of it, and this is good! And late in the fourth, they have grabbed the lead! That field goal gives them the lead for the moment, Kate, but you don't feel comfortable when you look up at that scoreboard. This one is no and that lead certainly isn't safe. Fielded at the seven. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. Visitors headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense would probably rather forget. It's his running back. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. He creates space to take that shot downfield. From the 30 on second down. Is it holding up? They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. So that brings us to the two-minute warning in New Orleans. Commanders needing a couple. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. He's back to throw. Escapes out to the left. Oh, he's going to run for it. And that will not be enough for a first down. Looks like they will indeed try it. Fourth and two. They'll run it with Robinson. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. The commanders take a timeout. They're first. First down, and they go right back to it. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. The commanders in the hurry up. They're hustling for the line. Fits it through the middle. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. The Saints calling for a timeout. They're first. First and 10, a run to Robinson. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. We have a timeout here. Second one taken by New Orleans. On second down, Robinson. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. The defense takes its third and final timeout. Throwing now. And really, no, he's not going to escape. They take him down on a pivotal play late in this ball game. And the defense comes through. I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. The kick is off the mark. No good. And that should be their last gasp in this game. No matter how that kick was going to go, Kate, there was going to be elation on one side and absolute heartbreak on the other. And that's what makes for a memorable finish and one heck of a game we got to watch. Into the victory formation they go, Bronk, here on first down. Down to a knee, and we're going to see if that defense chooses to expend one of its final two timeouts. And the whistles go off, so we've got a timeout. Nine seconds left in the game. Back into that favorite formation they go, Brock, forcing those guys to burn a timeout. 
The Saints in victory formation, content to just knee this out. Now with eight seconds remaining in the game, they're going to burn their final timeout. After one final kneel down, partner, and this should do it. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. So fans starting to stream from the Superdome to the French Quarter as it's a win for the Saints. This is the type of game everyone was hoping they'd see when they entered this stadium, Brock, you and I included. A close one that went all the way down to the final whistle. And Kay, this is one of the bigger adjustments a college player has to make to the NFL. In college, you get a lot of blowouts. The NFL, every game you get calloused because mm. you know more often than not, they'll be like this, a one possession game. It's not about how you start. It's all about how you finish.